Hi everyone, I'm Courtney with Schneider Driver Recruiting along with Marissa and April. Today we're going to talk about everyone's favorite subject, cash. Um, <laughs> and just a lot that goes into it. So whether it be your, you know, how you get paid for obviously your job, your driving job, benefits, um, whether or not how you get paid at orientation, what we reimburse, lots and lots of details that go into it. We're going to try to touch on today. It's a big, broad topic, so if we can't answer your exact question, you can definitely type it out, talk to a recruiter, whatever it may be. We'll definitely try to get those answers for you. So I'll let you get, girls kick it off and kind of start talking just a broad picture about money. Yes. So a question we get asked all the time is how often does Schneider pay? So we pay every Friday here at Schneider. Um, we do have pay increases. You will receive several during your first year with the company. And how do we pay? So we pay based off of your level of experience. So when we're looking at experience, we're going back the last 10 years for any tractor trailer experience that you may have. Um, since obtaining your class A. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to piggyback off that too. I've had drivers that have had multiple years of experience, obviously outside of the, just this past 10, mm -hmm. and they'll say, oh, but that was with a small company, so I didn't include it, I didn't count it in. Mm -hmm. uh, count it in. We want, yeah. we want to help you and get that. I had a driver that um, was, you know, that extra little stuff that we ended up talking about during the application review actually bumped up his pay because oh, I didn't include it on the application. I didn't think it was, it was too small. It didn't matter. Mm -hmm. it definitely matters. We look at any verifiable tractor trailer experience in the last 10 years. So you're doing yourself a favor by including that in, and in, you know, even if you think it's, you drove for an owner operator, mm -hmm. you know, anything that you're doing tractor trailer wise, we want to pay you for it. So include it in your application. Yes. Big deal, big deal. <laughs> <laughs> One of the other big questions that we do get is, okay, how does that, how is that pay structured? Well, it's a very broad question and there's a lot of kind of different answers to that. So to kind of break it down a little bit more for everybody, so depending on the position is really determinant on that pay. So for example, we do have a daily rate that instead of the cents per mile, you are given X amount of dollars per day for every day that you work. We of course have the very traditional cents per mile that it's say, for example, 45 cents per mile for every mile that you drive. Um, with that, all of these, of course, are based off that experience level like we had mm -hmm. covered before. Um, there also is accessorial pay, and that is on most of the accounts. One of the biggies that really has that accessorial pay is going to be that tanker division. So every time that you load the tank, every time you unload the tank, you're compensated for that, as well as, for example, some of our hand unload accounts where mm -hmm. there is that physicality of you physically unloading that trailer. That's where that accessorial pay is going to come in as well because mm -hmm. we want to compensate you for that physicality of that work that you are doing on those accounts. Mm -hmm. um, there also is detention pay. We do have a lot of drivers that ask about that detention pay, um, something that we certainly have. Um, also breakdown pay, so that is something that is offered as well. Um, and then for our intermodal division, there is also load pay. So for every load that you get, there's that compensation as well. So say a position has six to 10 loads per week, every single one of those loads completed is where that load pay comes in as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. um, another caveat that's a little bit different is the state of California and the state of Washington. They kind of have some different regulations on mm -hmm. how pay is structured. So there might be, for example, a cents per mile in addition to a on-duty non-driving, which is like an hourly rate as well. So with those, I don't want to get into too much detail because it mm -hmm. you know, can be quite intricate. Um, if you're a resident from California or Washington, your recruiter will definitely go through that in more yeah. detail. And you can certainly ask as well you know, in that interview, right. hey, um, I know my state's a little bit different for pay. How yeah. is the pay structured mm -hmm. on the account? Yeah. Um, both of those states also then that orientation pay instead of being a like $80 a day for example for some of our orientations it's actually an hourly rate if you're a resident from the state of California or Washington. So just a little bit of something different there as well. Mm -hmm. We do have some questions rolling in. So it looks like oh. Noah is asking, how does the new military pay apply to current employees? That's a great question, Noah. So if you were a current employee um, before 
in, in rolled into 2020. Um, talk to your DBL a little bit about that. You will be grandfathered into our new system and they'll work out um, that information with you as well. To kind of explain uh, um, our military pay credit, mm -hmm. something that we're very, very excited about. So we've been doing a military pay credit for quite some time. Um, so basically if you were um, recently discharged from the military or ha are currently part of the reserves, um, you were given a military pay credit. Mm -hmm. So um, we base this off of whether you have a driving or a non-driving MOS, which is a military occupational specialty code, essentially. Uh, so for those that aren't in the military, if you talk to somebody that was in the Army and says, I was an 88 Mike, they basically drove tractor trailer and heavy other equipment in the military but just wasn't DOT regulated. So when it came over and translated from their time in the military, let's say somebody got out um, of the army last month and they came over to Schneider, you were credited for your time driving in your 88 Mike. So um, now if you came out, if you were a cook in the military, mm -hmm. but just recently got discharged and you came in, we also gave you a percentage of your time mm -hmm. just to credit you for your service and obviously thank you for your service. Good chunk of our drivers have some sort of military pay or uh, military experience. Um, so what was kind of getting sticky was uh, it was the you know percentages, how long have you been out type of thing. So we kind of just wiped that out and as of January 1st, um, if you had a driving MOS mm -hmm. in the military, that all stayed the same. So I drove for four years in the military, you're going to get paid as a driver with four years of experience. With the new change, the, it was for our non-transportation codes, essentially. So if you were a cook, essentially, and you got discharged within the last 12 months, we're going to credit you for a year worth of tractor trailer. So that's what's new. Um, so that's what's really great about that, obviously, the pay is more, so because you got a year's worth of tractor trailer under your belt, you know, that's what we're going to credit you for your military. Um, you are now eligible for an experienced sign-on bonus, which mm -hmm. is different. It wasn't like that before. Mm -hmm. And you're eligible for benefits as an experienced driver, which is huge. So within 60 days of your hire date, you can now get benefits, which is different than if you're inexperienced. So um, very excited. I've been hearing lots of cool things. If you were currently a driver before the new year, we w talk to your DBL. We would then grandfather in and work other stuff out. So obviously nobody's getting the shaft or anything like that. So um, that part was really great. Um, and we've been hearing lots of good things. What else kind of uh, changed with it too? Um, our military apprenticeship program, just basically, if you don't know what the apprenticeship program is, 12 month program where you can get your benefits paid back to you, your GI Bill benefits. Um, if you had some and you wanted to get those paid back to you, it was in the past about $1,200 a month that you can receive back, um, bumped up to about 1400. So that's new as well. Um, I'm trying to think of what's anything different or new. I think we, um, yeah, if you wanted to know more about that apprenticeship program, talk to your trainer. You know, it's easy to enroll. It's up to a 12 month program, but we have a lot of um, really knowledgeable, not only military uh, recruiters, military recruiting assistants as well, who are former military members. So if you have questions, um, 866-VETS-CDL, call them. Um, Ernest is our uh, <laughs> residential uh, recruiting assistant, um, former um, military as well, so they can answer lots of questions for you too. So I, re I know it's a lot of information, <laughs> lots, lots of, of stuff. Great we do have a blog on the Slice of Orange page too that explains kind of all the new details. Published a little bit earlier in the month because um, it was as of January 1st. So got any questions? Um, we'll post that here below, but you can go on the, the Slice of Orange page too. So lots of good stuff. Mm -hmm. Lots of awesome. Great question, Noah. We do have one question that came in from Chris, and it says, do I get a referral bonus if someone transfers to the company and uses my name? Yes, we do have a Absolutely. referral program here at Schneider. Do you want to cover that in a little bit more detail? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you would get a referral bonus. Now you both have to be employed with Schneider. Um, during that time and you both have to claim each other for the referral. Now the referral bonus, it does you know, vary depending on if there's an experienced driver versus inexperienced driver. The amounts do change just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Inexperienced, um, if you, so if you refer an inexperienced or a brand new driver right out of school, um, $500 referral bonus. Mm -hmm. You're experienced, ex <laughs> <laughs> refer someone, I got, Talk so long about the military. So, no, uh, <laughs> you refer somebody with three months or more of experience and they get hired on, 
It's a two thousand dollar refer bonus. Mm -hmm. So the best part, there's no limit to the mm -hmm. amount of people you can refer. Um, and it's just as simple as having them include your name and driver number when they fill out an application. So, And as far as the payout, to kind of go off of that yep. too, because a lot of people ask, okay, mm -hmm. so I referred somebody, how does that payout work? Mm -hmm. So if it is an experienced driver that you referred, they have that three months or more of experience, you get 50% of that $2,000 two weeks after the date of hire, and then the second payment is at that six month mark. Mm -hmm. So that's how that payout works. For the inexperience, so someone with less than three months of experience, it's a $500 bonus. And then that is 90 days after that date of hire is when that would actually be paid out to you in one lump sum versus the 50-50 you know, of the experience bonus, just so everybody knows how that payout yeah, works. Yeah, very important too. And like Marissa said, both have to be employed. Yes. So if somebody decides yeah. to leave or whatever, unfortunately, then that's kind of null and void. Right. But yeah. I mean, you can make thousands of dollars just off of referrals every year. So yeah, have no business limit. cards, and when you're at truck stops yep. or you know yep. any other locations, be handing those out because it's a really great way to make additional money. The Absolutely. biggest thing, which I know we did mention, but to really stress, is you have to claim each other. So yeah. the applicant has to put your name down, but then you also have to put that applicant name down as mm -hmm. well, so that you guys match. There's a lot of disconnect with that sometimes because people aren't you know, claiming each other, if you will. So just make sure that that's happening as well so you can get that referral bonus. Yeah, absolutely. Good question. Good. So we have another question here by Mensor. Um, Schneider, they're asking for experience only. What about the new drivers? So we hire um, all drivers. So if you're just out of truck driving school, um, just starting your driving career, we have plenty of opportunities for you, plenty of opportunities for experienced drivers as well. Mm -hmm. So we would welcome you to apply. Right, right. I know, I think there's sometimes that, uh, I've heard the last couple of days too, like, uh, I really wanted to do tanker, but I'm new. And, you know, I was we like, well, we do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there's lots of different things. Schneider Jobs is a really great tool to you can filter right on the side. Mm -hmm. So if you're new to driving, you can literally filter to the, your new CDL holder, and it'll bring up all the jobs available to you. So don't ever hesitate to apply. Absolutely. Good question. Awesome. To kind of go off of with new drivers, one of the other programs that we have here at Schneider is that tuition reimbursement program, yeah. mm -hmm. something that I really want to cover today because it is a great program to get most, if not all, of truck driving school paid for. So the way that that works mm -hmm. is what you would have to do is send to your recruiters via email a itemized list of how much you paid for tuition. The reason why we ask for that breakdown or itemized list in that tuition is we don't reimburse back for like books or some schools do like room and board. That part we don't reimburse mm -hmm. back for. So we want to see the breakdown of how much school was and mm -hmm. what cost you had for each of those items so we can pay you back for that tuition price. Absolutely. What else we ask for in that documentation is your information as well as the school that you attended. Mm -hmm. um, that way we can verify, okay, he did go, he or she did go to this school, this is how much they paid, their information's on it. The way that that works is once we get that documentation and you have been hired on, we enter that into our system. 30 days after your date of hire, we then start to reimburse you back. So mm -hmm. it's $200 a month directly back to you, that's right on your paycheck. The most we reimburse back for is seven thousand dollars. So if school and tuition was more than seven grand, sadly that's where we have that line that you know seven thousand is where we kind of cap things off, um, and then drive that um, paycheck where you're going to see it on. It's the third Friday of every mm -hmm. month is where you're going to see that tuition reimbursement added onto that paycheck. So I know some drivers call in, hey, it's been thirty days, but it all kind of mm -hmm. depends on that timing because it's that third Friday of what, when you're going to see it. Yes. Um, one of the other questions we do get is if you worked with a loan agency, can I still get tuition reimbursement? Yep. Definitely. Send us the documentation that you have. Um, for some particular loan agencies, we actually can work with them and reimburse them back directly the 200 a month instead of to you if you wish to do it. It's uh, not for all loan agencies, so just have to ask your recruiter mm -hmm. to see if the one that you're working with has it as, as an option if you wish to go that route. Right, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Great tool to utilize, and I don't think enough take advantage of it. So yeah. definitely if you're looking to get that, it's what company will pay you back for your schooling? You know what <laughs> I mean? Like it's, right. pre it's a pretty sweet deal. 
So holiday pay, it is something new that we are actually starting this year. So uh, six holidays that are going to be paid the New Year's Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. So it is available after your first anniversary with Schneider after you've been with the company for one year. And if you are with the company from any time between one year to four years, you are paid $100 for that holiday. Now a common question is um, if I am driving or if I'm not driving, do I get the holiday pay? So you do still get the holiday pay. Uh -huh. So you don't need to be driving on that holiday to get that holiday pay. Now, if you're part-time, that holiday pay is gonna be prorated because you're not working the full-time hours, but you will still get some holiday pay. And then after four years, or five years, I'm sorry, five years and more, you will be paid $140 for that holiday pay. So it does continue to increase. Um, really just a great new benefit for our drivers. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And that was something that had been asked for for a long, long time. Yes. And yeah. so the powers of be that are <laughs> mamas <laughs> finally made it happen. So it's like a lot of um, just really good things hopefully happening in 2020 yeah. that we're really excited about. We also offer for our drivers performance pay too. I don't think we check about performance oh, pay. Yep. Yeah. Um, essentially, we want to reward you for the driving that you're doing. So we look at metrics for things like on-time delivery, safe driving, fuel efficiency, um, pretty much on like a quarterly basis. And if you're just a royal rock star and <laughs> you know hitting these certain metrics, you can earn additional pay to be added to either your rate per mile or your weekly pay if you're getting on a weekly rate, daily rate, mm -hmm. whatever it may be. Or even a load pay as a well for a load pay too. Mm -hmm. So it's you know we want to reward you for the work that you're doing and not just you know you get into a truck and drive and we never talk again mm -hmm. we, that's not how we work things so we want to reward you for being you know for being a number one you know number one core value is safety yeah. so being that safe driver but and then also you know showing that you know you're showing up on time and doing things like that too so mm -hmm. um it's a really awesome thing that's been working really well so yeah. if you're making 45 cents a mile i mean you can make up to 49 cents a mile that's mm -hmm. a huge difference so I'm always kind of digging deep into those little things too that you can get added on as well. And the beauty with the performance pay is it's reassessed on a quarterly basis. So say for example, you do have a quarter, especially for newer drivers, you're kind of you know learning the ropes, you maybe yeah. don't score so hot, you know, one of those first quarters. Mm -hmm. It's not something that's permanent. Every single quarter is that clean slate to try to get that higher score. So right. something else that's really kind of a beautiful thing that's yeah. worked within there. So I first of all have one from Noah. Are there higher referral bonuses for certain lines of business? Great question. That is a good question. So across the board, it is that same amount. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's really just determinant on that experienced driver versus the inexperienced driver, um, but the amount is the same. But great question. That is a good question. Mm -hmm. uh, that's another great point too. So we, I get a lot of phone calls back too, and says I was supposed to get my. Um, let's say for example if you get a sign-on bonus okay so that's another thing we can talk about too mm -hmm. sign-on bonuses are paid out in four payments over your first year with schneider yeah. so depending on the position you signed up for some may have them some may not and amounts can be different so a common question we have do we have a 401k plan do we match so we have both um one to six percent uh 50 percent um, matching after three months of employment now, when can you start contributing to the 401k? You can start right away. First day of hire, you can start contributing. Um, it's very user-friendly on that 401k website, and you can always go in there throughout the year and you know modify your contributions. And then one of the other questions that we get a lot too, which is also kind of falls within this umbrella of pay and money is vacation. How does vacation work? So when you hit your one year anniversary with the company, you are given one week paid vacation. When you are at two years with the company, then it goes to two weeks paid vacation. And then at seven years, you go to that three weeks paid vacation. 
So when I usually tell drivers about this paid vacation, I get a lot of questions then, well, what if I'm under that one year mark? How does that work if I have a planned vacation? Mm -hmm. Or if you know I need a couple of days off due to you know illness or something like that. So we certainly are gonna work with you on that. My biggest recommendation is talk to your manager as soon as possible if you have a vacation in the books or you know if you're not feeling good, hey, pick up that phone right away, let your manager know. Um, you certainly can take days off during that first year before you hit that one year anniversary. They're just unpaid days off because you haven't hit that one year anniversary with the company to be given that one week's paid vacation. Right. But you know, definitely have that vacation as mm -hmm. you gain time with the company, you get you know more vacation right. given mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. I um, have a question about short haul pay. How you know how does it work? Great question. So with mm -hmm. this one, it really depends once again on the account that you're on. So definitely when you're going through that interview with your recruiter, mm -hmm. ask you know how does that look because yeah. it, it how really many miles? right how many yeah. miles and you know it's, it's very based off that position. Certainly something we have, um, but you know it really is account based. Yeah. So I would you know ask that during your interview. But thank you so much. For sending that in for yeah. your question as well. Yeah, and there's some that will, you know, literally break it down for, you mentioned miles, so like zero to 100 miles gets yep. paid a certain way, 100 to a 200 miles mm -hmm. gets paid a certain way. Not all accounts are like that because you're a lot of the time not doing so much short haul, but if it's right. a, something that's home multiple times a week or daily or something like that, it can definitely have additional pay too. Um, on those type of accounts, what a lot of drivers I don't think realize or recognize is some things that are very specific. A lot of our accounts will have a, if you get set up for orientation, um, a call literally from the manager on the account that can like, hey, I know you got set up on this account for you know orientation on Monday. Um, let me talk to you a little bit more about it and just so it, give you more details, more details than us recruiters might not even know. You know what I mean? To, mm -hmm. oh, we just really, we recently changed this yesterday. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about it and walk you through it. So mm -hmm. there's always people that are here to help you out, make sure that you're prepared. So ask questions. All right, so you get hired into a position that's got a hiring or a sign on bonus essentially. Drivers switch positions after six months, do they lose their sign on bonus? This is a great question, Joseph. Yes. Um, Yes, they do. So the um, the part of the sign-on bonus um, that is contingent is that you're, it gets paid out over the course of your year on that position. Mm -hmm. um, hypothetically, let's say you got a $5,000 sign-on bonus. After eight months, you switch to a different position. Unfortunately, then you forfeit the rest the rest of that sign-on bonus. Mm -hmm. So you would have gotten paid in your you know, 45 days, 90 days, six months. Um, but then you just wouldn't have gotten that final, last final payout. So um, that's a very, very, very good question because yes. we do have a lot of people constantly asking about um, transitioning or transferring positions, which you are more than welcome to do if you don't want to stay on the one you're currently on. But then you are correct. Just as if like the pay would change depending on the position. If you're switching lines, business pay would change. Right. Unfortunately, then that sign-up bonus would mm -hmm. go away too. Kind of a question that I do occasionally get off of Joseph's original question is say you were with you know one particular position for that six months, you got some of the sign-on bonus, not all of it. Do I have to pay back in what I got for the sign-on bonus? No. no. no that no, no, is no. your money to keep. No. You do no. not have to pay back in for that sign-on bonus. Um, one of the other questions that's very popular with sign-on bonus is, you know, say for example, you look at a position and there's a sign-on bonus offered, we'll take the $5,000 example, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you decide, you know, not to apply whatever, and all of a sudden you come back a couple months later and the sign-on bonus has changed. Either it's gone up, it's gone down, it's mm -hmm. gone away. Great we question. do have expiration dates on sign-on bonus that we are looking at those and sometimes they go up, go down, or they do go away. So make sure, you know, just if you see a discrepancy with that, ask your recruiter, we can definitely explain that to you because I know sometimes it can be yeah. confusing yeah. where where did it go, um, but that's why there is like an expiration date on those sign-on mm -hmm. bonuses just, you know, as a call out as well. Yeah, so. that's a good question. Um, obviously, orientation is paid depending on where you are. Experience level depends on the amount. Um, we pay for um, hotel rooms for you and we book them double mm -hmm. occupancy um, for a majority of our locations. 
Um, if you would like your own hotel room while you're in orientation and you don't want to bunk up you know, with someone else, that's okay. Um, then you would just have to pay the Schneider discounted rate for the hotel for the night. Okay. So depending on where that is can change. Um, we offer you know, any sort of transportation, whether it be plane, bus, personal vehicle. If you take your personal vehicle to orientation, we'll reimburse you for that fuel. So um, making sure you're keeping your receipts is another one. Yes. Um, yeah. well, if you rent a car, we'll reimburse the car rental up to $300. So there's always some sort of way to get, you know, to, that we can help you out, essentially. You're not going to go completely broke getting to orientation or whatever yes. it may be. I think that's an important part yes. to touch on because a lot of times candidates will say, well, I'm not sure how I'm going to get, you know, to Phoenix. That's quite a ways away. Yeah. You know, we do cover that. Yep, yes. absolutely. Great question. Um, if you haven't applied already, we more than encourage you to do so. Um, Schneiderjobs.com. We have recruiters on staff, like you said, five days a week, but we do have recruiters on the weekends as mm -hmm. well, too. Yes. So yeah. um, don't hesitate to give us a call on the weekends. We can have somebody talk to you, help you out. I gave the number for the vet line before. I'll do it one more time just because um, we have a lot of good people on that end. So 866-VETS-CDL. If you're a current or former military member and just had some questions as to how the new military pay works mm -hmm. or how the apprenticeship program works, whatever it may be, um, give us a call. We can help you fill out some information there. Otherwise, schneiderjobs.com is always our big advocacy, so make sure that you um, do that or call the um, 844 PRIDE number as well, because mm -hmm. we're waiting for you. Yeah, we are here. <laughs> <laughs> we are here. You can text too, mm -hmm. um, text chat to 28,000. So we always have a lot of people standing by and that can help you out with whatever you may need.